Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add MS Excel row for make form submission. I want that whenever a new form is submitted in make forms, automatically a new row should be added in my Excel sheet to capture the response of the form submission and to create the record of form submission. So how we are going to do this process effortlessly and automatically. For that, we are going to use an integration software, Pabli Connect. How? For that, we have make forms in our trigger and MS Excel in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in make forms, automatically it will be captured in Excel sheet by adding a new row. So in order to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn make form and MS Excel in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in make forms, automatically the response of that form will be added in MS Excel sheet. So let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then in the address bar, we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, we will come on the landing page of this software. Here we will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free to create your free new account in just two minutes. Because I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. And after coming on all app section, we can find all the products offered by Pabli. And in order to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And when we do that, we will come on dashboard of Pabli Connect. So we can find the workflows which we create here on the dashboard. And to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue button. So let's click on it. And now a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a suitable name to this workflow. So let's give it a name as add make forms responses in MS Excel automatically. So after giving the name, let's click on create. And as we do that, we can find two windows open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and action? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions. So let's understand trigger and action once again with, with the example of this workflow. So here in this workflow, we are going to take make forms in our trigger and MS Excel in our action. So we will be connecting both of them in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in make forms, automatically the response of that particular form will be captured in MS Excel. And this means the action is the response towards the trigger that. So here trigger will be form submission and action will be the response towards it. That is capturing the form response in MS Excel sheet. So let's start with the workflow. First of all, we have to select our action application, which is make forms. Let's select it and now the trigger event which is new form submission. So here we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect make form account with Pabli Connect. So what we are supposed to do, let me tell you that. For that you have to come on make forms account with me. So let me take you there. So this is the make form account. Here we have to go on. So here from the dashboard we have to go on settings given on left side. And after coming on that, we have to go on integrations. And from left side, we can find webhook option. So we have to click on it. And here we can find the webhooks which are already existing. So in order to create a new webhook, we have to click on add a webhook. So here we have to paste the webhook URL which we have received from Pabli Connect. So let's again copy it from here. And then we will paste it over here. And we have to turn this post button on from the endpoint given over here. Now the next we have to select a form which we have created in order to capture the response in Pabli Connect. So I have only one form here. We will select it, PAB integration and the data format should be JSON. And here are the fields which this form contains. Okay, full name, email and the phone number. So let's click on save. And we can find that a new webhook is set up over here with the method as post. Okay, now let's go back to Pabli Connect and it is showing waiting for the webhook response. That means now we have to do a test submission in order to capture the response of the form here in Pabli Connect. So let me show you the form. This is the form which we are going to fill in order to capture the response. So let's fill the details one by one. First, it is asking for the full name. So let me enter a dummy name over here. Dummy user. Let us also enter a dummy email. So I am writing dummy user 44 at the rate pablitudes.com and at last a dummy phone number so i am going to give the phone number as okay now let's click on submit and it is showing your submission has been successfully recorded that means our form is successfully submitted over here now let's go back to public connect and check whether we have received the response there or not so here yes we can find 
that the response is received over here with the same details which we have entered in the form name email and the contact number now let's move on to our next step that is our action step so what is our action here our action is to add this response which we have received through make form submission in our excel sheet so this is the excel sheet which i have created for this particular workflow in order to add the response of make form submission and it is named as book 3 now it contains three columns name email and contact so we are going to select this particular workbook in Pably connect now let's select our action application which is microsoft excel let's select it and our action event will be add row to worksheet click on connect and from the given options we have to select add new connection and connect with microsoft excel so as you know i have already logged into my excel account therefore pably connect is just asking me the permission to access my excel account and therefore i am clicking on accept and as we do that we can find that our authorization is successful here that means our ms excel account is automatically connected with pably connect why because i was already logged into my ms excel account so you also have to keep in mind always to keep login to your applications before making up the connection with pably connect because it makes the connection easier and simple so now let's move on to the further steps first of all it is asking us to select the workbook so as you know that our workbook is named as book 3 so let's select it and after that we have to select the worksheet so i have only created one worksheet so it is already selected as sheet 1 now the next are the fields which we have received through form submission name email and contact so instead of entering them manually we are going to map the data by using previous step why because we want that whenever a new form is also submitted in make form then automatically the response of that particular form should also be captured in public connect and we do not have to do anything manually because if we will enter the details manually then the workflow will get stuck due to dynamic details so let's map the data now we have to select the previous step which is make form so we will click on it and we will search for our name so here we can find the name is given over here so let's select it and it is mapped now the next is email so we will map the email also in the same manner so we can find the email is given over here Ma map it and at last the contact so here we can find the contact number now simply click on save and send test request and here we can find that we have got a positive response that means the data of the form submission has been captured in ms excel sheet okay let's go on our excel sheet and check whether we have received the response there or not after refreshing the page we can find that yes we have got the response here with the name email and contact that means our workflow is successful over here so let us do one thing we can submit one more form in order to check whether a new response is also being captured here in the excel sheet or not okay so for that let us again go on the form which we have created and we will click on republish in order to publish this form again and let's copy the link of this form and we will open it in a new tab so the form is open now let's fill the form again with the dummy details after filling the form let's click on submit so the form is submitted over here now let's go and check in excel sheet whether we have received the response there or not first refresh the page and we can find that yes the response is again received here automatically without any manual process so that means our workflow is perfectly successful now let's now let's go back on public and summarize what we have done in this workflow so basically we have taken two steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken make form and in action we have taken microsoft excel and we have integrated both of them by using public connect in such a way that now whenever a new form will be submitted in make forms automatically the response of that form will be captured in public connect and after that it will be added in the form of a new row in microsoft excel okay so this was a full workflow and these were the steps which we have to follow in order to connect both these applications so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pably connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the red pably.com if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pably connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation